In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a head-up display that displays game properties like the score and health, usually at the top or bottom of the screen. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the previous tutorial. You can make the file yourself by following the tutorials, or you can download it by clicking the link or by visiting my website. Click the plus and new for a completely empty new scene. Call the new scene HUD scene, head up display scene, and change Blender render to Blender game. Add a camera, click its object properties, right click on its rotation values and reset all to default values. Click its object data properties, set the lens to orthographic and use the tip of the blue arrow to move the camera up. Change the view to the camera view. Add text. In the object data properties, scroll down and set the size to 0.5. To edit the text, go into edit mode and back into object mode. Click the Material button, click the New Material button, scroll down and tick Shadeless, which is the best option for flat 2D text. Use the tips of the arrows to place the text in the top left hand corner. Duplicate the text, hold down Shift, press D and Enter, and move the duplicate to the side. This text will be dynamic. It will change while the game is playing. We still set the initial value in the same way. Go into edit mode, set the initial value to 0 and back into object mode. Duplicate, shift D and enter and move the duplicate to the side. Go into edit mode and type health and back into object mode. Duplicate, Shift D and Enter and move the duplicate to the side. Go into edit mode and set the initial value to 3 and back into object mode. Place the text in the top right hand corner. To make text dynamic we must add a text game property and change its type to integer whole number and do the same for the health value add a text property change the type to integer drag to close the properties panel select the score value and add a message sensor and a property actuator when the message whose subject is collected is received when a coke can is collected we want to add one this time to the property text and connect those up select the health value and add a message sensor and a property actuator listen for a message whose subject is bump add minus one to the property text and connect those up. To display the information while the game is played, go back to the game scene. With the empty selected, add an always sensor and a scene actuator. Scroll down, change the mode of the scene actuator to add overlay scene. Set the overlay scene to the head up display scene and connect those up. Pressing P to play, we get the head up display, but the text does not look the same as it does in the 3D view and we need to turn debug properties off. In the game menu, untick show debug properties, change the scene to the head up display scene, converting the text to mesh it will render better in the game engine we can convert static text because it doesn't change 
the dynamic text must be left as text. Change the scene back to the game scene. Give the logic brick a meaningful name. And close up the logic bricks. Use the up arrow to move the always sensor to the top. I have jumped ahead and moved the controller and the actuator to the top. Add a scene actuator. Scrolling down, change the mode to remove scene. Remove the head up display scene when the score reaches 3 and we display the end scene. That's the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to switch between two cameras, how to have a fast forward, and how to export a standalone version of the game. The start file and the end file can be downloaded from my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.